So I'll give you just a little bit better look at this solar panel here. And uh, this is the one made by Blue Eddy. This is a 120 uh, watt solar panel. Uh, it is foldable. It's fairly light. I, I like it. It's really convenient. Uh, you know, you can stick this in your trunk in your car and take it along with the Blue Eddy real easily. Uh, it does have the pouch in the back. It does have these pads on the back that you can see here. These feet, these fold down. I've got it upside down, but these fold down and they're props so that you can angle this uh, however you want it. So you can angle it up like this. My sun is directly overhead, so I'm going to lay it out flat. The panels are monocrystalline panels, which is a better output. And uh, they are rated for 120 watts and a 12 volt system. So, you know, very convenient to have one of these. You can either get them from Blue Eddy uh, or you can get, uh, or you can use your own panels with this system. All right, we're going to lay this out flat. Let that keep charging up. Okay, guys, so I've got the uh, EB55 plugged into the AC outlet uh, in my house, and it is, says it is charging at 200 watts. That's how much the uh, transformer is rated for, and it's pulling in 200 watts, and it says that it will charge in just about three hours using AC. Now, you can also charge it by getting a solar panel, and uh, Blue Eddy also carries their own line of solar panels, or you can use your own solar panel, and... Uh, Blue Eddy includes the cable, so if you're using your own solar panel, it has the XT60 plug that these use uh, if you're using that. But if you get one of their panels, this is a 120-watt panel. I think they have like a 200-watt panel as well. Uh, I'm using the 120-watt panel. It says that this can be charged with up to 400 watts of solar, which is really good for a small unit like this. Uh, 200 watts of solar, uh, if you was getting optimal amount of power from it and getting the full 200 watts, you could charge this to 400 watts. However, solar is always finicky, so don't expect to get 200 watts out of a 200 watt solar panel is what I'm saying. But this is the solar panels, just so you can see them. It says Blue Eddy on it. It has some straps on the back here uh, that you push to unlatch it. And then these are the cables in here. Comes with these are standard MC4 connectors, and then you need the cable that goes with the unit to connect this to your battery. Now I like that they include a long cable. This actually has probably at least 10 foot, I'd say. I'd say this probably about 10 feet of cable. That's good uh, with these solar panels. A lot of times they only include just a short cable. And if you want to run this like through a window and into your house, you could recharge it by setting the solar panel outside. You don't have to set this outside to charge it. So it's nice to have that good long cable there. And then you just fold these out, which is what I'm going to do here. And I've got a nice bright sunny day to do this. Set this out. So I'm going to hook this in. I'll unhook the AC just to see how much power just the solar panel puts out. My sun is really high right now, so I should get good outlet output. Now Blue Eddy did kind of think of everything. They also include the uh, cigarette plug style plug with the XT60 on it. So if you want, you can plug this directly into a cigarette si style socket in your car or truck, and you can charge it up from that. That's gonna be slower, but it will charge up from that. And they send you your, your XT60 cord uh, for your solar panels. And you can use this whether you're using the Blue Eddy solar panels or if you already have solar panels, uh, you can use those. These have the uh, MC4 connectors on them, and you, you really can't mess this up, guys. It's, it's just as simple as connecting them to the correct connect to the correct connector. That one goes on there, like so. That one goes on there, like so. And then you connect this. Now I'm going to unplug the AC so we can see how much solar this is putting out. And this is a 120 watt solar panel. I've got really good sunshine directly above. And I am getting a hundred, right around, just almost exactly a hundred watts out of a 120 watt panel. I should be able to charge this from the 200 watt AC and the solar panel. I should get about 300 watts. So I'm going to plug these both in. And now the fan, that's the first time I've heard the fan kick on. The fan is kicking on now because it's keeping that uh, MPPT uh, controller in there. Um, controller in there nice and cool. And right now it is pulling. You're not going to be able to see this but it's saying it's pulling 303 watts. So I'm getting just a little bit more than 100 watts out of the solar panel. I'm getting 200 watts out of the AC power and it's charging at 300 watts. So that's really good. And it, when you're running both the AC and the solar panels, it's going to charge up faster. I would figure anywhere from two to two and a half hours uh, if, you're just, if you're running both 
uh, and up to three hours if you're running just the AC. So you're going to gain, you know, at least a half hour of time by charging it with solar. It's really hot out here. I don't recommend that you leave these out in the sun. So I'm going to cover this up uh, to keep the sun off of it. But I want to test that out. Again, that's the Blue Eddy uh, 120 watt solar panel. They can charge from they also include the DC char uh, charging cable and the panel looks really well made folds up it's not too heavy it's convenient you can lay it out and charge this up you can charge it just from solar you can charge it just from AC you can charge it from both or you can charge it from uh, any cigarette plug or even a gas generator or something like that all right I'm gonna get this covered up and out of the Sun we're gonna go ahead and let it charge up <music> 